Okay guys, if you're coming in for PLC art, so that's afternoon art time, you are going to be able to do a free drawing. So if you're coming in for free drawing, please remember that you can use crayons from your table boxes, you can use colored pencils from the back bookshelves, or markers from the back bookshelves. So we're using our dry art supplies. That way you can take your art project home with you at the end of class. Now when you come to art, you can use any idea that you have to create a picture. So you might think of something in your imagination that you want to draw. Um, or you can use our drawing books or our drawing prompts. So if you can't think of an idea, you can pull a stick. This one says, combine your favorite holidays. Um, this one says, if I had gills, so maybe you're going to make yourself like a fish. Or this one says, it's my birthday. So you can choose one of those drawing prompts and come up with a cool idea for a picture. Another thing that you can do is you can use our drawing books. Now in the past we've had some drawing books that are pretty old, kind of beat up, and when you flip through the pages, people have drawn all over this practice side. Now these books are really old, um, and we just got some brand new books in the art classroom. So we have lots of animal and people drawing books. When you use these books, some of them might have a practice page, some of them might not. It doesn't matter. We do not draw in these books. These books are not for coloring, they're not for drawing, even if it says practice. Um, instead, what you're going to do is you're going to follow the steps. So you're kind of following by number in order to create the picture at the end. Um, you're going to start with simple shapes and it gets harder as you go. If I have my paper on top of my book, I can only use a pencil. I don't want anything to bleed through. And I just do my best to follow the steps that I see. And I try to draw really lightly. That way, if I don't like one of the shapes I make, I can erase it pretty easy. Sometimes it tells you to take steps out, so you don't want to draw too hard. If you still see your pencil line, it's okay because at the end you can, um, you can color these pictures in, so you won't see all of your eraser marks. And then you're just going to start adding some extra details. And it doesn't have to look like the one in the book. You might not want it to look quite as real as theirs. It's up to you. Now, another thing that people like to do is lay their piece of paper on top of the book and try to trace the picture um, that you see. And this doesn't help you um, figure out how to do the steps, but it helps you get a bunch of different pictures on your paper quickly. Um, and that way you have a chance to color them in and make a more finished picture. If you're trying to draw step by step, you might only end up with a lot of practice drawings. So it's up to you which way you want to use the books. Um, you can do either one or you can draw from your imagination or you can pull a prompt stick. Totally up to you.